land is Galicia. It's located in the westernmost point of Europe. The capital city is Santiago de Compostela, one of the most important symbols of culture and religion and a cradle of Romanesque art. Since the Middle Ages, the city itself and the Way of Santiago stand among the key European points of reference because the Way is a great emblem of cultural transference throughout the continent. Galicia is the land of a thousand rivers. It's also called the Atlantic Bonsai because of its small size and its green landscape. The Galician coastline is 1,800 kilometers long. The Romans believed that Galicia was the end of the world and that a sleeping dragon was pointing to the beginning of the end, known as Fisterra in Galician language. Its lighthouse flashes its beam over one of the heaviest shipping channels of the continent. The Greeks once based the myth of the abandoned and rich Cassiterides Islands in our CS Islands, an incredible place on the Galician coast which explains why one of its beautiful beaches, named Rodas, was recently selected the best in the world. Galicia borders with Portugal to the south. Aguarda is the offshore villas on the border, on top of which is the Castro Santa Tegra, one of the many enclaves which tie Galicia to the tradition of the ancient Celtic culture, from which you can contemplate the neighboring country and the stunning estuary of Miño River. Galicia is a land of geographical contrast. There is the southern Atlantic landscape of crystal clear waters and undulating mountains of clear green color and the inland landscape such as Ocorel and Osancares, breathtaking because of its immensity and of the silence that touches your soul. But there are also some estuaries in the north where the Cathedral's Beach, as it is known, exists side by side with the highest cliff of continental Europe, which watches over the pilgrims who walk to the rough and symbolic, as the Knights of the Order of Malta describe it, Sanctuary of San Andres de Teixido. Galicia is a huge fishing power in Europe. We have some of the most important companies in the world in this field, and our fleet is scattered worldwide. Vigo is the main point of reference for fishing as well as the most populated city in Galicia. Its port is active and the fish market receives the largest unloading of fresh fish and seafood in the whole continent. But Vigo is more than fishing. The industrial activity shapes the industrious temperament of its inhabitants and its entrepreneurial character, which made the French group PSA Peugeot Citroën establish one of its main car manufacturing plants here. In the text, the holding that manages the internationally renowned Thara stores has its headquarters in Artesio. It is but a few kilometers from the pretty city of Acoruña, where we can find the Tower of Hercules. Cultural heritage of humanity, this Roman lighthouse converted into a neoclassical structure seems to illuminate the expansion of this multinational company all over the world. All this and much more is Galicia, the country of Morriña or homesickness. Santiago's Cathedral is its heart, its arteries are the way, and its brain, the three universities. The one in Santiago de Compostela, created 500 years ago, prepares thousands of students in diverse disciplines to face the future challenges of a world in constant evolution. of the Apostle are said to be buried in the cathedral. Thousands of tourists visit Santiago every year and they mostly arrive along the way. From many points of Europe and of the world, millions of people decide to set out on the adventure of experiencing the way.
there are lots of routes to choose from to go to Santiago de Compostela, but in the end, the result is always the same. The monumental Obrador Square, that together with the cathedral, are the symbols of the majesty and of the universal, open and tolerant nature of Galicia. And if you want to fully know this country, you must connect with the Radio Televisión de Galicia Corporation. Established in 1984 by the Autonomous Community of Galicia, it is the pioneering broadcaster in the use of Galician language and in its normalization, and it's also the public service that leads the regional information. It has four 24-hour channels, TVG and TVG2, for digital terrestrial broadcasting in Galicia, and the satellite channels for broadcasting in Europe and America. They are points of reference for the hundreds of thousands of people that connect with us daily, the same as the three channels of the Galician radio and the online service on our website. There is no relevant news or event according to the Galician view that Televisión de Galicia is not covering or giving up-to-date information about what's going on. It is currently the main archive of our audiovisual and oral memory. All the existing creativity in the field of the audiovisual and television fiction in Galicia relies on strategic support from the Televisión de Galicia. A sector, the audiovisual industry, that has proven capable of campaigning with guarantees in all the national and international markets, with series on films of great quality, highlighted in the prestigious awards, and which is an example of efficiency, reliability, and entrepreneurial capacity. The Compañía Radio Televisión de Galicia and the Galician people belong to the same human and cultural heritage. Understanding Galicia without its public service broadcaster would be unthinkable for the inhabitants of our country.